Okay, let's talk about DHCP, uh, Dynamic Host Control Protocol. We use DHCP when we want to automatically receive an IP address from a DHCP server. We have the, on our, on our computers, we need to have a DHCP client running, and then that client will um, broadcast, broadcast a request to the server to uh, get an IP address. Um, so here we go, uh, DHCP, it's a service, or a daemon, a daemon that runs in the background. And you can see it running in your task manager when it's on as a service. So let's see here if I have it, I can show it to you. All right, there's my task manager open, and you can see right here at the top, DHCP client is running. Okay, so I have the DHCP client running, that's my task manager. And where do we set that? Well, we set that in our network connections. If we open up our network connections and we right click on our NIC and we go to properties, okay, and then what we'll do is we scroll down to our TCP IP version 4 here, Internet Protocol version 4, and go to properties, and you'll see that I have. Um, my IP set to obtain an IP address automatically. That means run DHCP client. And also I'm obtaining a DNS server information automatically. So the DHCP client will uh, broadcast a request from the DHCP server to automatically get me an IP address, a subnet mask, default gateway, and also the DNS server information. Okay, so it's on, right? So what we can do is we can see this process at work using our network tools and what we've learned um, through networking and the uh, layers of the uh, OSI model and the TCP IP model. Let's see this process at work. First of all, uh, DHCP is going to be running on port 68 and 67. And we'll be able to see that. And it's going to, and when um, DHCP starts up, when it starts up, the client, which is me, will make a DHCP discover um, send out a discover request, hey, is there anybody out there who can give me an IP address? Then a server will respond and offer an IP address. Then the client, that's me, will officially request that IP address, and then the server, to end things up, will acknowledge that he's given the address out. So we can see this whole process at work if we use Wireshark, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say capture, start capture, all right, and there goes a capture, and then I'll open up my IP, uh, my command prompt here, and I'll say IP config release, which will release my IP address, and then I will do an IP config, um, and hopefully you can see this here at the bottom, IP address renew, IP config uh, space forward slash renew, and when I do that, it'll renew the request for an IP address. Now in Wireshark, we can stop our capture here, and then we can go find these packets that are going to show us this, uh, this information. So I'm going to scroll up through here, through all these packets that were captured, and I'm going to look for um, the DHCP packets uh, that showed the process happening. So let's see here, there we go, there's some DHCP. Well right here, on this line, you can see here, there's my private IP address, 2.1, and you can see a broadcast destination IP address, 255.255.255, and this is a, a DHCP um, offer from, uh, actually, the 2.1 is not me, that's my um, Linksys wireless router giving me the offer. And if we look at this packet and then open it up, you can see, sure enough, it's user datagram protocol and source port uh, 67, so the offer came in on um, uh, from port 67, destination port 68. Um, okay, and let's see here. And let's open up this bootstrap protocol here and see what's going on in there. Um, and you can see here, that the client IP address, that's me, was 000, and then he's going to give me 2.100. So um, 2.100 is what I will be receiving. And so there's the offer, and then um, 
there's uh, my request. So uh, there's my request from 0000, because I have no IP address. Uh, it's a broadcast destination, DHCP packet, requesting the address. And then down here is the acknowledgement from 2.1, who is the Linksys wireless router, who is also the DHCP server. So 2.1 is the DHCP server um, to me acknowledging the transaction. And then after that, you can see that I now have a 2.100 address and um, then I'll start doing whatever I'm going to be doing. Okay, um, and let's see here. Now the initial, um, after the offer there's a DHCP discover and we want to see where that was coming through and um, I'd like to see that packet as well and there it is. Up at the top uh, you can see that there's a lot of other packets that were captured in between the discover. So they're from source 000. So I had no IP address because I released my IP address to a broadcast address. 255.255.255.255 is a broadcast address. DHCP protocol, a discover packet. And then down the line, you can see the server offers. Then I make a request. Then the server acknowledges. And there's the process.